So I got an email um, sometime last semester from Phoenix Union Foundation for Education um, for nominations for Counts of the Year. And so I immediately, Mr. Baldrama popped to my head, um, just seeing how he's worked with students, how he's worked with um, teachers and other staff, always advocating for students and, and building up his community. Um, I just was hoping that I could help him be recognized. Born and raised in South Phoenix, um, product of Phoenix Union, went to Chester Travis High School, um, continued in South Phoenix at Summon Community College, um, you know, and then went to ASU, got my teaching degree in special ed, and uh, taught special ed for nine years before I made the jump to counseling. Um, growing up, I had a brother who had muscular dystrophy, and I believe that played a big part as well. Um, so, you know, like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna be a special ed teacher. Um, and then also in high school, uh, of course, my counselor, her name was Judy Richards. Um, she, she I, I believe she ended up becoming head counselor of the district in, in her time in PXU. And um, she was just there for me. And I was like, that's gonna be my next step. I don't know when, I don't know, you know, where I'll be, but I, I just knew that eventually I'd be a school counselor. He is always following up and providing for experiences around outside of the typical, outside of the norm, um, by kind of fostering that community outside of the classroom, outside of his office, in events like um, Rad Day, or in events where we're having lots of eighth graders or, or potential students coming onto campus. He is going above and beyond, and I think that's what makes him really exceptional, and that's what a, a counselor of the year should be, someone who goes above and beyond. This is where I belong. Um, I feel like it's detrimental that teenagers have like a role model or, you know, guidance. And, um, you know, that age 13 to 18 is very pivotal for them to kind of find themselves and, you know, ask for help. So, um, sorry. <laughs> Counseling, Mr. B. commits himself to his students in the community through other activities. I've coached boys baseball, um, girls softball, girls volleyball, boys volleyball. Um, I did one year of varsity boys volleyball, um, but my heart's always been in the freshman, freshman level just because I still could teach. And um, I feel like that's the, the, the important year. Any sort of transitory period, but from eighth grade to high school, it's like a whole new world. You, students kind of want to reinvent themselves and and Mr. Balderrama is there to to give them the space to do that. I feel like if, if I could be here to guide them they have a better shot and um, I think that's what's kept me here that and you know the relationships I've made over the years with my colleagues here. He holds everyone accountable. He will follow through with teachers being like hey have you done these interventions? He does tier two interventions himself. He puts in a lot of work outside of his typical duties. That helps everyone, that keeps all of us accountable and promotes a, a culture of excellence. I just want, you know, I, I, I love to see when kids finally realize that they can do it, they can graduate, they can, you know, even go on to college if they want. And um, being able to know that I was that person to help them has, has been great. I'm here, <laughs> I just do, you know, and, and I'll continue doing as long as I can.